Democratic Party in 2020, they very effectively rearranged rules on voting that uh, probably worked in their own best interests. And they got subsidies for Democratic-leaning urban strongholds. Right? They got massive subsidies to make vote counting in those areas much more efficient. Right? They simply played the game. They won the 2020 election within the rules of the game by modifying the rules of the game more effectively than did the Republicans. Now, Republicans on average are older than Democrats, so voting by mail is naturally more aligned with what, uh, what is naturally in Republicans' interests, right? Republicans are more likely than Democrats to have jobs, to have families, to have children, to have uh, communal and religious responsibilities. And so it's very much in Republican interest to have vote by mail. And, and now for the first time in American history, well, at least in the last hundred years that we know of, I believe, eligible voters who don't vote are more likely to vote Republican than they are Democrat. So the Democrats long thought to have you know, lower intensity uh, voters, but now lowest intensity voting bloc is majority Republican. And so everything the Republicans can do essentially to make voting easier for these low intensity voters will work in their favor, including vote by mail. But Republicans didn't play the game in a very particularly smart way in 2020. And uh, they may have gotten a bit smarter since then. But uh, times have changed, right? When, when uh, low intensity voters are more likely to vote Democrat, then it's in Republicans' best interest to make voting as difficult and challenging as possible so that only the most incentivized people show up to vote.